Hello creators. In this video, I'm going to show you how I easily publish my print on demand products to my Etsy shop using my designs. So let's get started. So when you log into my designs as a new user, it's going to take you to the dashboard page, which is what we're on now. What you need to do is navigate to the listings tab on the left menu of the website um, and it's just right under dashboard you'll see listings. So we want to click into that. As you'll see we're in an empty listings collection. So the next step is to create a collection and then we'll upload our designs that we want to put on these um, products. So in order to create a collection we come up to this listings button at the top and you can see home here. We'll click home and then we'll make sure we're nested under the proper one. If you're a new user, you'll only have one of these collections. Um, and I believe it is called home. So now we just want to click add folder and I'll be using some camping designs for these print on demand examples. So we'll just name this folder camping designs and then we'll click add new folder and you'll see here it pops up. So in order to get into that folder, we just click it and then click open folder. Now you'll see that this page looks exactly like the last one. That's because we don't have any designs in this collection yet. In order to do that, we just click the upload button in the top right corner here. And then we'll click upload files. You can either drag and drop or you can click here to find them on your computer. Um, I'm just going to drag and drop five of these designs here. And these, it always shows a preview before you click upload, just to make sure you have the correct files. Um, these are the ones I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload all. Now you'll see it working here. It takes just a second per design, and then those will be uploaded into this collection and we can get to work on our data and our mockups. So the next step is going to be filling out our data for all of these designs. And I do want to use a recently new feature here at my designs called Vision AI. Uh, what it does is it essentially just scans the image that you're trying to sell and it will auto populate your title tags and description for you with highly optimized keywords that rank um, on Etsy. So we can do that by first of all selecting all of our listings that we want to apply Vision AI on. Um, we can do that by going to this button here, clicking it and then clicking select all. You'll see that they all have a blue check mark by them. That, that's how you know that they're selected and that all of the actions that we now use are going to apply to all of these. So now that we have them all selected, we'll go over to Vision AI and we'll click on it here. Uh, the input file slot is just essentially the file that you're selling that you want Vision AI to scan. Uh, the product type is a t-shirt. That's what we're going to be selling. So we're going to leave that here, but you can change it if you'd like. Um, and then you can deselect these as well, um, but we're going to leave them all selected as I want it to populate all of the fields. Um, we have some additional features here. If you want your product features to be added to the bottom of your description, you can actually click this and then select the product that you're going to sell. Um, for this example, I'll be using a Bella 3001, so we'll go ahead and include that. Uh, there's also custom instructions if you'd like, um, like for example, if you wanted it to write the text in German, uh, we don't need that right now. So we're just going to uncheck that and then we click generate listing data and yes, run vision AI. And then you'll see here it says processing five jobs. Um, that's because it's doing it for all five of the designs we selected and that works very quick. It should be done in less than 30 seconds. Now that this is done, I want to just kind of briefly touch base on the results that we got from Vision AI because I think it's absolutely incredible. So if you look at this first design, it says camping is my favorite therapy. So the AI analyzed that image and was able to tell the exact words that this design says. So our title says camping is my favorite therapy t-shirt, outdoors adventure tee, nature lover gift, unisex graphic shirt. Those are great keywords um, for this niche specifically. Um, as you can see, we can use some more characters if we would like. And I always tell people that the AI will get you most of the way there, maybe 80, 90%, but you should always um, go through your listings, optimize them a little better, um, and make sure that obviously there's no keyword infringements or anything like that. Um, but these tags look fantastic as well. Camping t-shirt, nature tee, therapy shirt, etc. Um, so this looks amazing. And like I said, if you're going to use Vision AI, just make sure to double check everything. Um, the product features that we selected, as you can see 
here, it shows the product features. And we should be able to drag this down so that we can see it a little larger. But for some, there we go. So now you'll see there's the product features. It shows exactly what the customer's getting, what it's made of. Um, and then this description looks fantastic as well. Um, I'll read into it just a little bit. Embrace the great outdoors with this stylish and comfortable camping is my favorite therapy t-shirt. So you can see that it's actually really good at writing. Uh, you know, that's that's way better than I personally could have wrote if I was to read through this entire thing. Um, it's, it's great and this is um, something that you should really utilize because it gives you a huge advantage over your competitors um, when you're selling print on demand products. Um, the next step now that our um, data is all populated is to create some good looking mockups for our Etsy listing. So in order to create mockups, once again, you need to make sure you have all of your designs selected in this collection that you want to create the mockups on. As you can see, I do have all five of them selected still. So the next step is to go to the mockups button located right next to Vision AI. So we'll click that and then we're going to click create image mockup. So there's multiple options available here and I'll cover each one of them as I go through this. So first of all, you'll see we have a library of mockups available here. Um, we're going to be using a Bella 3001 as our example. So we want to search at the top here 3001 and we'll hit enter. Now you can see all of the mockups that popped up are only Bella 3001s. Um, and that's what we want for our product. Next, you can toggle this advanced feature on and off. What this does is allows you to generate multiple mockups at a single time instead of one individually. So if we have that selected, now we can go through and just click multiple mockups that we want to generate. And it will do that for all of our listings we have selected. Uh, you can see when we do add additional ones, they just pop up here at the top. Um, and we can close this one out or get rid of it because we're not using the guild in 64,000. Um, and we'll use these three as an example and maybe add a couple more. If you notice on this particular mockup, it is um, showing you a preview. You can do that on these other ones by clicking generate preview if you'd like. It just takes a moment to populate that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is you can actually change the shirt color if you'd like. You can do that by clicking here and then clicking a color. Um, you can also toggle primary color header on. What that does, as you can see, is just adds a heather texture. And this is only available on some mockups, but that way you are, if you're selling a heather shirt, this will more accurately represent what the, what the actual shirt's gonna look like. Um, and then we have one more button here called product related colors. If you click this, it will show you the colors available through our print partners. Um, and so we'll change a couple of these. We'll use my designs print partner as the example. Uh, let's do Navy Heather as an example on one. Uh, maybe we'll come change this one as well to um, Heather Royal. And then this one as well to a dark Heather Gray. Um, and then we'll add a couple more mockups here. This is a unisex shirt, so we'd probably want a male model. We'll just leave that one black. And then let's do one more. Uh, we'll do this couple's um, mockup. So now we have all of our mockups selected. Um, when you're selecting these mockups, it will auto map for you to an empty file slot. As you can see here, it's just set to mockup five. Um, and all of these will be automatically mapped to a different one. Um, but if you'd like to set it to a specific one, or if let's say you already had a file in here, but you wanted to override it, you can override it by selecting that file. Um, so we'll just go ahead and click generate mockups now. And you'll see here, it says processing 25 jobs. Um, the reason 25 is there's five mockups we selected and there's five um, listings as well that it's going to do it on. That'll take about 30 seconds and then we'll resume the video. Now that those mockups are done, you can actually preview them all at a single time by cl double clicking the file slot. So you'll see these are some really good looking mockups and we just generated 25 in less than 30 seconds. So the next step now that we have all of our mockups done is to actually just go publish these to our Etsy shop. In order to get the listings published, once we have all of our data and mockups done, all we have to do is go to the top right corner. You'll see this button called publish listings. You click on that and then we're going to select products as we're selling a print on demand product, not a digital file. 
Um, these are where you select your field. So there's a title, description, tags, etc. And this is all going to auto populate if your template you're using is set up in the correct way. So that's all good to go. Um, next, this is where we select our platform, which is going to be Etsy, our shop, which is this is our test shop. Um, and then this is where you can type in your category for Etsy and you can go into more depth than that if you'd prefer, but I'm gonna just go ahead and select a product. We can do that by just clicking the next arrow here at the top right corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and search a Bella 3001 as that's the shirt we're trying to sell. You'll notice that it has it for men and women. It's the exact same t-shirt, it's a unisex t-shirt. So once we select the product we want to sell, you then choose your print partner. These are our print partners available that sell the Bella 3001. It shows you the cost of shipping, the cost of the shirt, um, the average production time, etc. Um, and for this example, we're going to just use the My Designs production partner. Um, and then you'll get this window pop up. This is where you can select the colors, the sizes, the print file, whether or not you're doing a back print and a front print. Um, you can also add additional products. So for this example, I'm only selling a Bell 3001, but if you wanted to do a multi-product listing with, you know, say sweatshirts and hoodies as well on the same listing, you could just click add product here and then go and find the one you want. And then you can add, have multiple products on one listing. Um, for colors, this is where we'd select the colors. Like I said, um, we do have a couple mockups already pre-made. There's some that will auto generate in this um, window, but we're going to get rid of those. Um, and we can also select the size chart down here at the bottom, which I think is wonderful to include on all of your listings. So we're not actually going to publish these live. Um, I'm just showing you an example of how to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a couple of random colors. Um, if I was actually selling these, then obviously I would want the mock-up colors that I use to match the actual product colors. Um, and then we're going to deselect any of these mock-ups here too that, um, that are being shown because we, we don't want that. You can do that by clicking these up here, generate previews for selected colors or do not generate previews. We do not want it to. Um, size chart, we would love to have one of those and I think it looks great on a black. So we'll include that. And then we'll just scroll down from here under additional images. We'll select the mockups that we pre-generated ahead of time. And so you'll see now that it adds them up here. This is what our Etsy listing will look like. And we can um, change the mockup, the primary mockup, excuse me, by just dragging and dropping or the order in which they're um, shown. I personally think that um, one of these mockups should be the primary one. And then um, it should go all the way down to the size chart as the last one. Um, once we have this all organized how we want it, we have our colors selected that we want to use. Uh, all we have to do now is click choose prices. Before I do that though, I want to point out, you can adjust any print file for any um, listing that you're selling right here. Um, you'll see that this is the print file we're selecting, which was our main file. But if we wanted to adjust this right here on the fly, we can click the canvas system and you'll see it pulls our design up. So we can adjust this if we'd like to here. We don't need to do that. I just wanted to show you that it's possible. So we'll go ahead and click choose prices now. Um, right here, we can actually input the price for all of our products at um, a single time. Uh, you'll see right here, it says all sizes, all colors. If you wanted to do a single size, a different price, um, you can adjust it there, but then there's replace. So I personally, you know, we'll just say something like 24.99 is what we'll be selling these t-shirts for. Um, sometimes you might want to sell the XL or 3XL, you know, larger than um, smalls because they do cost you a little bit more money because they're a larger shirt. Um, the other thing is you can adjust how your products look on Etsy uh, by changing the size prefix, the, the size suffix and the color prefix and suffix, etc. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it how it is. But that is right here is how you could adjust that if you wanted to. So the last step is just to click preview publish info. So this will just show us um, what our listing looks like. So as you can see, it shows us our title here, our description, our, um, excuse me, this is part of the description, excuse me, and then our tags at the bottom. It shows you your print file and what it looks like and then what your primary mockup is. You can change these over here as well if you'd like to. Um, it's just the publication platform, the store, who made it, et cetera. Um, Etsy requires these on all listings. 
Um, if you have a personalized product, which we do not, but if you do, you have to make sure to select the personalization button here. Then you can put instructions on the listing um, and put a character limit on the response that the customer can give you. Um, so as you can see, this shows all of our listings. If we want to see our other ones, we can just click the over button like this to view the other ones. But we, we only have six here, so that's really only if you have multiple pages. Um, we can see all six on this one page. But that is pretty much it. Now all we have to do is click publish, and then you'll see it's gonna say processing five jobs. Uh, once that's done, we'll just jump over to our Etsy shop and I'll show you what the listings look like there. Now we're over on our Etsy shop, and as you can see, this is exactly what our listings look like on my designs. Um, if we're to click into one of these listings, you can see here's all of our additional mockups in the same exact order that we had them. Um, everything looks perfect. Um, that's how easy it is to publish from my designs to your Etsy shop. And like I said, I use six as an example. If you're a Pro Plus user, you can do up to 120 at a single time. Um, the last thing I want to point out before I close out the video is anything that you sell um, through Etsy will always go into your draft folder. Etsy charges a 20 cent listing fee. So make sure you always check your draft. They'll never go straight to your uh, um, active listings. So that does it for this video on how to publish print on demand products to your Etsy shop. If you guys like this video, please um, like and comment on the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.